Ghost Rider issue number nine from Marvel Comics. The only series that I'm actually reading from the big two. So yeah, in the last issue, they go to Chicago, Talia and Johnny. And Talia like, uses her powers to awaken Ghost Rider. And that's where this issue starts off. So Ghost Rider's awakened. He attacks Talia. Well, I say attack, but he basically just kind of wraps her up in chains. And um, we get like a little Sundere moment with uh, Ghost Rider where he tells Talia he doesn't belong to you. He belongs to me. So uh, I wonder if Ghost Rider's getting a little jealous of Johnny's new goth girlfriend. Talia basically says, uh, I know what you want. You want to eat and you want to eat sin. Well, if you let me work with Johnny, I can promise you a big meaty all-you-can-eat buffet of sin and revenge. And um, Ghost Rider tosses Talia into some trash and depowers and turns back into Johnny. We see Exhaust, the cool new villain for this series, who is basically a part of Ghost Rider. He's like the, the negative Ghost Rider and or a reverse ghost rider i guess and uh instead of riding a motorcycle of flames he rides a motorcycle of exhaust fumes and as he drives by people on the highway the exhaust fumes get into like the drivers and stuff and it gets inside their bodies and it turns them into flesh sacks basically and uh, causes them to crash so he's just basically killing a bunch of people as he's driving to chicago Talia basically is, is talking to Johnny and says, you know, sometimes you have to do bad things to make things good. And um, they stand in front of a church. And Johnny says, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to describe, but the, the spirit of vengeance can sense evil. And um, it was kind of pointing me like a compass. When you ignited him earlier, he brought me here. They look inside the church and they just find a bunch of dead people everywhere. And he realizes that this is a, some kind of sacrifice. And... Um, yeah, they see a crow, so Zeb's still working with them. And uh, they go down into the subway station uh, where they meet this old guy who uh, wants, he has to pay if he wants, if you want passage. And he has like a cup full of like bloody teeth. And he's like, you know, I almost had enough. And he goes to attack Johnny when he trips and falls onto the tracks. And uh, a subway train runs him over. And when we get this cool moment where as a subway train is passing by, Johnny just witnesses a bunch of uh, bloody people inside banging on the, the doors trying to get out. And basically these people are being driven to slaughter. So Johnny transforms into the ghost rider to chase after the, the train. Meanwhile, uh, Talia comes face to face with the exhaust. And yeah, it turns out that there's this underground section of the subway where all these demons are and they're harvesting humans. I don't know if they're harvesting them for um, sacrifice or for consumption or or what, but they basically just have a bunch of humans everywhere and locked up in cages, uh, strapped down the tables and stuff, and they're like going to be cutting them up and things. And I'm going to stop it there, but it's awesome. I love this series so much. The series is so great. Writing has been phenomenal. Artwork is always great. I enjoyed the character of Talia. I was a little bit worried at first, just because it's modern day comics. And anytime, well, not just comics, but modern day media in general whenever you introduce a female character who's going to be the lead and she's supposed to be like a badass character it never comes across very well usually they kind of minimize the male lead or they make him stupid or dumb or insignificant or weak to try to prop up the female character and uh yeah if you gotta if you gotta weaken one character to prop up another that's just terrible storytelling and so i was kind of worried that you know that was going to happen here but it hasn't. Uh, Talia is a good, interesting character in her own right. And um, they haven't minimalized Johnny Blaze or Ghost Rider. They haven't weakened him to, you know, make Talia seem all that much more cooler. So I'm I'm glad for that. Because uh, this way I can now enjoy both characters instead of liking one and resenting the other. Characters are good. Writing's good. Artwork's been good. The idea of, like, this underground demon hideout in the subways where they're like collecting humans on trains and cutting them up and stuff for parts seems kind of interesting like i like the premise uh exhaust as a villain seems really cool the fact that like his powers of exhaust just turns humans into like flesh meaty sacks is <laughs> really grotesque and interesting so yeah 
uh, everything about the series has been pretty great so far. Outside of the uh, like the one issue that was not even terrible, it was just more on the weaker end. The series has been knocking it out of the park. It's been great. So yeah, I'm going to just stop it here before I gush anymore. This is another great issue. I highly recommend this series. It's been phenomenal. But there you go. There's Ghost Rider issue number nine from Marvel Comics. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So what'd you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.